today's video, I'm going to show you how to verify your domain using Google domains. So this is if you're trying to verify a domain in your Facebook ads manager, and you're seeing one of these blue buttons on the screen, and you want to verify a domain, uh, and you use Google domains to do so. So the example today, I'm going to use virtualeventplaybook.com, which is my wife's company that teaches people how to use virtual events. And it is a ClickFunnels domain, uh, or it's, it's configured in ClickFunnels. But when we go to verify domain, she uses the, this URL to generate leads and make some sales. So I'll click the verify button and it pulls up a couple of different settings for us that we can use. And all we're gonna really have to do, there's three different options that we can use to verify a domain. But uh, this is what we're gonna actually do here. So we're just gonna do the DNS verification. We're not gonna mess with HTML file upload or the meta tag verification. First, we'll click on the uh, add a domain button here, virtual event playbook.com. We're going to add the domain. And then now it gives us this option for virtual event playbook.com. It's got a red dot because it is not verified right now. I don't know how to do HTML file upload and that sounds complicated and meta tag verification also sounds complicated, but I do know how to do DNS verification. So we're just going to add, we just have to do one of these three. So we're going to add a DNS text record to our domain host to prove that we own it. Sounds simple enough. Log into your domain registrar, in my case, Google Domains for this specific domain, and then go to the DNS records section. So I am in this uh, domain here, virtualeventplaybook.com. I'm gonna go to DNS, and it gave us some code or a uh, piece of text to copy. And it says add at in the host field if your domain host requires it. So let's see. We're gonna scroll down to the DNS uh, records section here for custom resource records, and we're going to add one. So, we use at in the host field, make it a text record, one hour is fine, and the text we're gonna add is this, control V to paste, okay? So we're adding a new record, it's a text record, at is in this first field, didn't change this, and just pasted the text that Facebook gave us. And I'm gonna click add. And now this has been saved, it'll take effect within the next 48 hours, okay? So now we'll jump back over here, we'll click verify, my hunch is nothing will work, yep as expected, it'll take a, a little bit of time. So we'll check back. What'll happen now is if I hit refresh, see how this one says one hour ads is verification pending. At the moment of this video, I have verified this domain, which is in GoDaddy, and I'm still waiting for it to uh, be verified. So while we're here, let's jump back in, click verify, let's see if it works now. Boom, it does work. That took about 10 minutes, heads up. Yours might take longer, might not take as long. And if I hit refresh, we will now see that the uh, virtual event playbook domain is status pending or verification pending. Check back in 10 or 20 minutes and I will get it verified that way. So that is how you verify a domain in Google domains to set up in your Facebook ads manager.